Hey everyone, this is Allison with Stitches and Stuff Studio. So here we are today with the X. And you know what they say, X marks the spot. I don't know who they are, but they always say it. Today I'm starting with a 100% cotton t-shirt that was pre-washed in the washing machine with just a little bit of detergent to remove the manufacturing chemicals and stain resistant treatment. Since the fabric considers our dye to be a stain, the stain resistant chemicals would stop the dye from adhering to the shirt. After I washed the shirt, I soaked it in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun it in the washing machine until it was just barely damp. I began today's fold with the sleeve inside the sleeve centering technique. The rest of the fold is pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just let this part of the video play out. Now that the shirt's all folded up and tied nice and neat, it's off to my favorite part, applying the dye. I get all of my dyes from Dharma Trading Company, and today I'm using their fiber reactive dye. The hot hibiscus dye had been mixed up last week and started to clump up in the bottle a bit. So in a fit of frustration, I just took off the lid and poured the rest of the hot hibiscus on the shirt. The rest of the colors behaved fairly well, and I didn't really have any problems with them. I'm curious, though, to see how the hot hibiscus looks in the final project. Will this old clumpy dye look okay? I guess we'll find out.
that all the dye has been applied, I'm going to cover the pan snugly so the fabric doesn't dry out. I'm going to let it sit and batch for 24 to 48 hours. This batching time is important because it allows the soda ash to activate the dye so that the dye will chemically adhere to the fibers of the shirt. The shirt batched for about 30 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. I'm starting with cool water to rinse out the remaining soda ash. Once the water runs mostly clear, it's into the washing machine on warm with a bit of regular washing detergent to remove the rest of the dye. I'll be back when the shirt's dry and we'll see how it looks. So here it is, the X. I really like the way the shirt turned out. There was good dye saturation with no real white patches. The clumpy hot hibiscus ended up looking fine. I'm not sure that I like the big purple patch in the bottom of the shirt though. I might do that differently next time I use this X fold. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What would you do differently? or the same. Thank you so much for watching this video. And before you go, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Tap the bell icon to turn on all notifications and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribing to my channel and watching the videos is the best way that you can help me grow my new channel. And until next time, Go add some color to your world and create a tie-dye project.